mean time to failure mttf first thing is it is a mean it is an average so we are not talking about one time we are talking about different time we are adding them divided by the number of count so this is the average or mean now coming to time to failure how much time does it take for a system or a software product to fail that is car is going fine how much time it will take that the tire gets punctured or your your engine stops working so this is the time for a particular product fail so we will not do it for once we'll we'll try to find out these times number of times then we'll take an average and that is the mtta so average time between two successive failures and this is observed over a large number of failures not one so the system is working fine it fails now when it fails again first failure second failure now when we see that the system is working fine so the time system is working fine till the next time the system is working fine okay so when it is working fine it's okay but the time from where it started working fine and time uh, second time where it is working fine is the actual time i'm talking about okay so mttf is not very much appropriate for uh, the softwares as it is mainly the, these uh, metrics are mainly made for hardware so you can just call it as total number of uh, hours of operation divided by the total number of units so hardware fails due to certain reason due to environmental condition due to wear and tear there are many many more uh, sort of say inputs to its failure every hardware has to fail some time there is no uh, say immortality so this indicate how frequently the component fails some component fail your system will fail but when the software error is detected and it is repaired it is not always possible to see that error again it may never reappear mean time to failure let us take an example to understand this a uh, total life span of a devices how many devices we have to divide that so let us take an example imagine that a production line has a total of 3 devices so that number of devices or assets are given as 3 devices and they are of same kind so these 3 devices one completely failed at uh, 5200 hours the device number 2 at 4200 hours and the third at 5600 hours okay let us try to find out the mttf mean time to failure so what is the total life span of the devices just add all these 5200 4200 5600 you'll get 15000 how many number of devices 3 So just divide this three, fifteen thousand divided by three. So you are going to get five hundred, and this five hundred. So please remember, we are trying to find out the mean. So add them, divide by three. This is the MTT, five hundred hours. Mean time to repair, MTTR. Mean is average. So whatever value will come, we have to take the average. We will add them. divide by the number of counts so time to repair that is if something uh, gets into failure how much time it will take to repair it okay this is time to repair so failure has happened we are talking about the time to get it repaired so here the the uh, failure has happened so there is a repair time and that repair time when it start behaving correctly now is the mean time to repair so this mean means we are going to take the average of various values not one value but different values and add and then we'll find out the mttr so mttr is average time it takes to detect the issue mean time to repair is an average time first we have to uh, detect the issue then we need to diagnose the problem and then we have to repair the fault or the error or the bug and then the system return to its functionality
So this MTTR mean time to repair is a maintenance matrix. Please remember it is a maintenance matrix that measures the average time as I'm saying not one time but we have to try to find out various time and take the average required to troubleshoot and repair failed equipment. So this is all about the time it needs for repairing. You can just understand like this. So MTTR is the total maintenance time divided by the total number of repairs. So this is an indication MTTR for any kind of organization that how it respond to any kind of unplanned breakdown and repair them. For example, if there is an electricity problem in your house, it can be from your pole, it can be from your transformer or it can be from say the hydroelectric from where it is coming. So the time to repair will be different in terms of different kind of problem and to repair it will take different time. So as I said, once a failure occurs, what are you going to do? There will be additional time to fix the fault. So this MDTR is finally the measure, it finds out the average time it takes to fix the faults. Let us take an example to understand the MTTR. This is equal to total time spent repairing divided by the number of repairs. So just imagine that uh, a production line has three devices that went down. The first one was down for four hours. The second was down for two hours and the third for three hours. How to find out the MTTR? So what is the total time spent in repairing? 4 hours, 2 hours, 3 hours, add them. 9. What are the number of devices? 3. Divide 9 by 3, you are going to get the MTTR which is 3 hours. Mean time between failure. The mean time between failure is, see first of all it is a mean. So you need to take the average. So once failure happened, you need to repair it. And then there will be correct behavior and in between that there will be some time. So one failure and whatever time it takes to repair and correct behavior, there will be an another failure. So the time between two failure is mean time between failure. I hope you got the idea. One failure, second failure. The time elapsed between these two failures is the time between failure. When we take a lot of these numbers, that is whenever it happens, we combine them, take the addition divided by the number of uh, the say values we have taken, count we have taken, that will be mean time between failure. So MTBF, mean time between failure, is the predicted elapsed time between inherent failures of a mechanical or an electronic system or a computer system or a software product during normal system operation. So how can you cal calculate it? It can, cal can be calculated as arithmetic mean, that is the average, that is why it is called mean, time between failures of a system. So two failures, the time between it is MTBF. This term is uh, used uh, for uh, repairable systems while mean time to failure MTTF uh, denotes the expected time to failure for a non-repairable system. MTBF simply total working time minus the total breakdown time and divided by the number of breakdowns in this stipulated time. So just subtract this breakdown time from the total working time divided, divided by the number of breakdowns. So this is going to be MTBF. We can combine this MTTR and MTTF that is the mean time to repair and mean time to failure and then you add them that is the time of MTBF that is mean time between failure because something happens, some failure happens, there will be time to get it repaired and after that the system will work fine until it reaches the second failure point. So if you say MTBF of 100 hours, what does it mean? It means once failure has occurred, the next failure will be expected only after 100 hours of clock time. Please remember this is not the running time, just see your clock, that will be 100 hours not your system is working when. 
Okay, the time measurements are real time and not the execution time of the software product or the electronic device as it was done in MTTF or mean time to failure. So this is the clock time. Just add MTTF and MTTR, you'll get MTBF. Now let us take an example to understand MTBF. This is the total uptime divided by the number of failures. And this MTBF, let us take an example. Imagine that a production line runs 130 hours in a week with four outages. Means in whole 130 hours, there is four time it failed. The first one lasted for two hours each. That is the first first two. That is two hours and two hours. First one, second one, two hours, two hours. Okay. So the first two, they were out for two hours or down for two hours. And the last two, that is the third and fourth one, they took three hours each. So now let us find out the MTBF. So 130 hours is the total working time from, from the start to end. 130 hours, it is being said that all four outages are there, two for two hours, uh, two for three hours. The total number of outages, outages time is two into two, first was four hours. And the second is two into three, that is the six hours. Add them, you get the 10 hours. So this is the time where the system didn't perform. It was not well, okay? So this 10 has to be subtracted from 130 as I uh, showed you the, uh, the actual formula. So 130 you have to se separate out this 10 hours. So that will be the time 120 and that this is the total uptime and how many number of failures are there. Okay, you have to divide it by 4 so that the MTBF is 30. So this means uh, that uh, when the operation is live the average time between the failures is 30 hours. So let me go a step further. Let us try to find out the failure rate. What will, the, what will be the failure rate? So as I, as I suggested, 30 hours between two failures, 30 hours between two failures like this. Average we have taken. Okay. We will try to find out the failure rate. You just have to take the reciprocal of MTBF or mean time between failure. Failure rate is 1 by MTBF, 1 by 30 is 0 0.033. 